Hello, I'm Bushra from QA Milestone. And if you have been following along this Cypress series, I'm sure you're pretty comfortable with Cypress by now. In this video, we'll discuss how to run Cypress from command line. So there are multiple scenarios we'll be looking at. Run all spec files in the project. Run all spec files in a folder. Run exactly one spec file or even multiple, but you specify the ones you need to run. And finally, run or skip a specific test in a spec file. We'll also see how to run test in browser and headlessly. And we'll have a look at the screenshots and videos that get stored. So let's get started. So to run all the tests that exist within your project headlessly, you can use command npx cypress run. This would run all the spec files in all the folders. Alternatively, we can also update our package.json with instead of this, we specify cypress run. And this is the name of our script. You can update it to whatsoever you like. So once you have Cypress run script in your package.json, you can also run your Cypress test using npm test. Or if you have a different name for your script, use that here. So with scripts, you use npm and not npx. Okay. Let's go ahead. So now, if you would like to run all the spec files that exist within a specific folder, you could specify using spec flag like this. Or if you have a script in your package.json, you could also try this. And double quotes here are highly recommended and say you would like to run only a specific spec file, we could simply add its name instead of blog like we were using earlier. So you specify the spec file name like we have mentioned here actions.spec.js and you could also add more spec files separated with comma. And here as well, if you have a script in your package.json with uh, Cypress run, you could use npm script name and the same thing here. And lastly, we might need to run only a particular test, that is a specific it function. This could be achieved using only function provided by Mocha. So to use it, let's open a spec file. So say if you would like to run only this particular it function, you add only to it. So now only this test would run and this test wouldn't run. But the hooks are always executed. So hooks like before, before each, after and after each would always be executed. Now on the other hand, you might also want to run all the tests skipping just a particular or a select few, right? So to handle that, you could use skip. So we can write dot skip. We could remove only from here. So now say if we had multiple um, tests here, all the tests would have run except for this test. So that's how it works. And only and skip could be applied to both test suites, that is describe, and individual test, that is it. Let's run our test now. And now, say we want to run exactly one test. So we write spec, so we use spec flag 
and say we would like to run this particular test file. Let's hit enter. Now this is running the test headlessly. By default, test run headlessly in Electron browser. The execution has ended and you can see a new videos folder here. So when tests are executed headlessly, it records a video of the test run so that you could later see the test run. This is amazing. Let's, let's run this. and also screenshots of the failed scenarios would be captured. Nothing failed in our test and so we did not get any screenshots. Otherwise, a folder for screenshots would have been created. Now, the test that we ran was run headlessly. Let's see what we need to do when we need to run a test in browser. So we have the same test so when you need to run a test in browser, you need to use the flag browser. And he specified the name of the browser. So we'll use Chrome. So a Chrome browser has been launched for us. and the test ran in browser. In addition, you could use all these flags to dictate how you would like your test to run.